Hello to fellow TFIers and coaches and trainers. I'm wanting to share with you the story of the M3AC and ask for your help in building it because this is this is a final culmination of, uh, of where I started uh, with Ron's choice and what this has all come to. This is something that's going to be a free offer that I'll have on Ron's choice. Gabe will have on on uh, his blog and it will be a main hub at M3AC will be a free weekly uh, call. Now, I, it's M3AC stands for Mindset Manifesting Mastermind and Accountability Challenge, and I'll tell you why that started. I want to tell you how the whole thing started. Uh, after I started doing the TFI accountability calls, I wanted, I wanted more. So I reached out to the DMC group to see who wanted to have a, a, uh, an accountability call, a weekly accountability call. Gabe was one of the first ones that uh, stepped up. Uh, there were several other people. We got together each week and we tried to do, uh, I I tried to generally follow the, the TFI accountability call. You know, what, what, what are your goals? And, you know, it, posting your EOD was, was mandatory if you wanted to be in the group. And after a few weeks, Gabe and I were the only ones left. And... So Gabe, Gabe looks at me and he says, uh, we need to step this up. And I said, okay, I, I agree. And I reached down and grabbed my book of Think and Grow Rich uh, because this was something that I had tried to do before but never stuck to it. And I, I actually had the, the page dog-eared. It's uh, page 36, uh, six ways to turn desire into gold. Uh, I'm not going to read, read the whole entire thing, but the first is fix in your mind the exact amount of money you desire. Second, determine exactly what you intend to give in return for the money because there's uh, there's no such thing as something for nothing. Third, a definite date. Fourth, uh, create a definite plan. Fifth, write out a clear, concise statement of the amount, the time, and your plan. And then six, to read this statement out loud twice daily. Uh, and he agreed and he says, okay, he says, how are we going to hold each other accountable for this? And I, I immediately thought of the answer, but I was like, okay, this, uh, you know, and I told him, I said, this is a little bit outside of my comfort zone. I said, but, it, you know, ch challenges make us grow. So I said, why don't we meet twice a day, you know, for five or 10 minutes, whatever it takes to read it. And, uh, you know, we'll do a Google Hangout and we'll read our statement to each other. And uh, we kind of chuckled and said, okay, let's do it. Now this started December, the, the first one was December 19th. And we've met twice a day since then. That, that includes Christmas, Christmas Eve, New Year's. We've met twice a day uh, since then. So it, it has helped us mentally. Uh, I know it's helped with my mindset uh, going through this process. Um, you know, there's been ups and downs and there's always ups and downs. And that's, you know, like Zig Ziglar says, uh, you know, somebody said motivation doesn't last. He says, yeah, neither does bathing. That's why we do it every day. I recommend it every day. Uh, so as, as we're going through this, then, you know, we continued with the DMC weekly call and we've got some new members in that. And you, you just, some of you've probably seen it. it's a D Denise, uh, Denise Keenan. Uh, uh, they're all inner circle. Uh, Jamie and Craig, and we, we meet every week with them. Uh, it's not quite this detailed. But now this grew over since uh, since December, since we started this. Our statements changed. We, we you know, we question each other. And, uh, you know, we, we, we ended up, uh, you know, we didn't call it. We didn't have a name for it. We, it was just an accountability call. We called it a challenge. And at the first of the year, we said, okay, we're going to do this four times a year, 90-day challenges. We're going to set a 90-day goal make a certain amount of money and do it a certain way and then we get we decided you know what do we want what amount of money do we want when do we want it why do we want it what's it going to do for us how are we going to get it and then f as far as the usp and the niche and, and to stay focused on internet marketing we we're like who's going to benefit from this who's it going to serve who are we serving and then where will we find these people for marketing where where will they be on the net how are we going to reach them so we answered those questions and then wrote it out into a statement, and then we read it twice daily. And of course, if, as things have changed, uh, that has changed as well. And you know, we're trying to uh, 
the, the purpose of the call was for us to get over our limiting beliefs because we both have uh, limiting beliefs as far as the ability to make money. I know that's been, you know, I can sit here and tell you that I, I, I believe that I can make the money. I know I'm capable of it. I deserve it. But deep down, when I see, uh, you know, when I see <laughs> all these people making the money, it's like, wow, how do they do that? So it's it's that deep inner belief. So this is this is like auto suggestion. Uh, we're, we're trying to incorporate uh, the law of attraction, manifesting to uh, to vibrate at the right frequencies, to to just internalize uh, that that this is possible and that we can do it. So you know, I started thinking. Well, we kept saying accountability. I said, let's let's we need to put a catchy little name to it. I said, well, we're working on our mindset. We're trying to manifest, and during these calls. So some of the calls, none of them, eh, a couple of them have been maybe 20 minutes if we had something going on. Typically, they're 30 minutes or longer because we'll end up masterminding on something. He'll either mastermind with me on something I'm working on with Vaisalis or, or you know, personal problems or whatever and vice versa. So, you know, it's, it, we mastermind at the same time and it's, it's an accountability call where we're keeping each other account, accountable and it's a challenge. So. You know, that's how we came up with M3AC. So that's the history. That's how it started. And then Gabe, not too long ago, says, well, you know, this is this is what people need that are in the industry. They, they need they need help getting that focus, staying focused on specific tasks and somebody to hold them accountable to it and, and to believe that they can achieve it. Because most of us, I think a lot of us, and we hear the phrase that, we're our own roadblocks. And I think that was true for me. And I, I, I feel it's that way for a lot of people. I see a lot of people in, you know, in DMC and the whole industry that, you know, they're trying, they're doing, they're doing the stuff and they're just, they're just not getting anywhere and they have to get past themselves. They have to get it in their mind that they can do this and that they go forward. So I, I believe, uh, you know, and then, and then Ann's newsletter uh, this past week, uh, Gabe watched it before I did. And he's like, did you listen to that yet? Because she's saying the same things that we're doing because that was, that's one of the things that we've, that's mandatory for us is a, a morning routine and an evening routine. And of course, you know, us reading our statements to each other, but we also visualize what we also both have an exercise routine that, that we do. And <clears throat> we incorporate reading in the evenings. And then, uh, of course, we uh, we read out our start of days to each other, what we plan on getting done. And then at the end of the day, you know, we ask us what we got done. Now, we figured we could make that smaller, give a free call once a week, give the people this foundation of what we're doing that they need to do twice a week. And then once a week, as the group grows bigger, we'll, we'll pick three people to stand up, read their statements, and then we'll help them, you know, uh, question them on their belief you know do they are they actually doing it and holding them accountable and then as uh as far as levels um you know we do intend on somehow making this an affiliate program where other people can use the free call to to uh you know build their own list and so you know we're trying to keep it generic but if somebody does join right now, the thought is if somebody joins the DMC and goes inner circle, then, then we take them up a, a level with us and they can come to our calls uh, twice a week. Uh, you know, we haven't quite worked that out. We're just getting the foundation. That's why I'm sending out this video so you guys know what the, what, how this started, what our, this, what our plan is. And so any suggestions, comments uh, are, are much needed. This is what I'm gonna be submitting to um the check and adjust calls because that's basically what we're doing it, you know each day is uh we're, we're planning doing and then we're checking and adjusting as we go uh so yeah uh, that i mean that's the goal i mean i, I know I've, I've you know i've gone from from ron's choice to to the three by three by one the traction marketing single dads and uh, then the Vaisalis, but that's all still there. That's all part of the back end. Uh, and, but this is, this is the main, the main free offer that I believe if it's done right, 
and I have the right people helping me uh, or helping us. So I, I just I have really good feelings about this, and uh, this is this has really been uh, my desire. Uh, that was the whole idea behind Ron's choice in, in the beginning. Uh, is was to help the people that are struggling, getting the right mindset. Not if the coach Kurt said, I don't I don't want to get too far. Of course, coach Kurt said and said something on the. Uh, the uh, new member uh, DMC orientation uh, about motivation. He says, I, I would, I'd rather have somebody that's half motivated with a sharp ax go into the woods than I would somebody that was completely motivated with no ax. And, uh, and of course, you know, he did say that uh, mo motivation is required, but that's what this is about. It, you know, mindset, motivation, and having the sharp tools, staying completely focused, uh, you know, laser focus to get to get where they want to go. Uh, so, yeah, I look forward to hearing everyone's comments and their suggestions and, and uh, taking you guys on this journey with us. Um, I, I, we're both we're both uh, pretty excited about it. So, and, and one of the goals is to to get obviously to get um, uh, Gabe into TFI, uh, and that's one of his goals that he reads on his statement every morning is uh, he's working on getting his his 12 uh, with three being inner circle or higher so he can have that uh, towards his certification because his goal is to be TFI certified as well. So awesome. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks.